How's it going, YouTube? Uh, welcome back to another video uh, with Scrub Games. Uh, it's me again, Jamie. Uh, and what I'm going to do is continue on with the next video in uh, the new series I've started, uh, Cube Draft 101, as you've seen on the title. And this uh, this one's going to cover how to how to draft. Uh, so in the previous ones, I've explained, um, done an intro into Cube Draft, what it is, what it's about, how, like how it's uh, played. Um, and another one about how to build a cube if you're a beginner or uh, or just interested in building one yourself. And what today I'll go over just like the main uh, focus on the drafting, um, go over how to do it, and also uh, as I mentioned before, it's possible to do this on on untapped. So I thought uh, probably a helpful thing for anybody who hasn't cubed or um, is interested in cubing while we're in the pandemic, where you can't really meet up with people uh, in person, and would like to try cube with people they know. Uh, that they can't meet, in, uh, that they can't play with in person. Um, I go through a way of how you can put a cube onto your untap and also uh, go about drafting it and how, what it looks like and what it's, and how it's like. Um, so uh, generally, you know, uh, most people probably uh, have played the game or played a uh, TCG where they've participated in a pre-release. It's quite similar to that in the fact that uh, you'll sit around with a group of people, um, but instead of opening all your packs. Uh, one at a time and building a deck using uh, using what you pull from those packs. Instead, what you do is you'll take everybody open one pack at the same time. Uh, look at look at the pack, all the cards in the pack. Grab one from it, put a face down in front of them, and then pass it over to the next person, either on to the left or right, depending on which direction you're going in. And as you pass over to your left, the person on your left will pass to you. And same if you were on the opposite way, you'll pass to your right, and someone on your right will pass to you. And then what you do is you'll, once everybody's done that, you'll then have a look at the next new pack you've been given, pick a whatever card uh, from that pack that you want, put that uh, with the other cards you've picked, and then continue to do pass on to the same direction you're going, and so on and so on until all the cards have been picked, and then you start up again with another pack and continue until everything's been uh, picked. And then from there, you'll then uh, take your pile of cards that you've picked from the draft and construct a deck with them. Uh, in Dragon Ball, uh, there, as I said, there is a rule where uh, you must take the first leader you see, um, and draft is uh, cube drafting is similar to that, but instead of using silk packs, as I said before, you uh, use a pre-constructed list, uh, which may, uh one good thing about cube drafting with a sealed is that there's less, uh, there's not a, it's not as luck based, uh, and when you pull because in a pack you can get like a, quite a few quite a few super rares, while some some might get no super rares. Uh, also, on my pool secret that's playable, things like that. Whereas in cube draft, there's only one of each card. Uh, well, depending on how you build it, uh, there's more, there's less. Uh, it's less based on uh, luck when it comes to what you pick. It's more. Uh, it's more. Everybody get uh, constructed. You you've got a, a lot better of a card pool. Um, when you do it in person, you basically do the same um, with a cube. You just shuffle all the cards together. There's a lot of cards, but then luckily, if there's more. Because there's quite a few of you playing the cube, uh, well, you ideally want four people or more, uh, or between four and eight. You all of you can work together to shuffle the deck, uh, put it into piles of well, depending on how you build your cube. Mine, I go for piles of twelve from my uh, uh, normal, uh, well, my um, normal list, and then fourteen from my expanded because that's where I've added an extra uh, two cards per pack uh, to try and make it for a bigger drafting pool, just to try it out. And uh, yeah, separate into packs, and you hand everybody picks a pack in so like a certain order, so you can roll for it. And so you can everybody picks a pack at a time, because you're not going to be able to see the cards just grabbing the packs, and then keeping the packs out as in piles. You don't pick one and start drafting it as you would packs. Um, so what I'm going to do, if, uh, so that's how you would like draft, and then yeah, after that, build a um, uh, deck using what you've pulled. Similar. Uh, you can, uh, depending on how you play it, you can do a best of three format if you want to, or best of one format. If you do best of one format, you just get everybody to pass over the cards that weren't pulled, or weren't used in their decks to put back into the cube so they're they're not lost or left out. Uh, or if you do best of three, you could have all the rest of the cards that you didn't pick as a side deck if you want in between games. Um, and depending on it, like, and depending on you, deck size can uh, depend. Like uh, for mine, I like to have a because it's um less luck based and more skill based in how you uh pick and then build a cute build your deck uh during the draft. I opted to go for the standard uh like I constructed a fifty card limit, uh well fifty card minimum and then sixty card uh max. 
if you want to you can also always put it down if you've got like um uh with just 12 packs between eight people you might not have the biggest card pool so you could potentially if you want to go down to 40 if you want so 40 card minimum and 60 card maximum so everybody's got the uh so everybody can build it how they want it makes it a bit, bit, bit fluid if you, uh, a bit uh easier to build decks if you do it that way uh but with mine i chose to do 50 to 60 but that's just my preference and um uh yeah and, uh, so what i'm going to do is go over I kind of forgot what I was going to say then, but I'm going to go over the uh, how you do it on Untap. Uh, so if any, if any, anybody uh, that actually watches these, watches series, uh, you can uh, you then have a way to before actually trying it yourself, you get to see for an example of uh, how you would do it on Untap because uh, this is how I've been doing it for my tournaments and it's been fun and it's a uh, it's quite helpful as well. And also it gives you a, it does give you a chance to um, doing it for Untap. It does allow you to kind of test your cube as well, get the um, to see how it's like what you draft in the end even though the bots because uh, the bots now you can either set to no bots um you can set it to uh smart bots or just uh random bots if you want uh you kind of test out your drafting um just to see what you end up pick, uh, getting at the end of it um so you can just basically make sure like if you want to test out to make sure all your art types are actually uh playable and draftable proper like this like uh well you can always use it. That's how I've been doing it to make sure all my um, archetypes are decent uh, and playable and as strong as each other. Like so that no ever, no archetype is stronger or weaker than the rest. They're all at the same sort of level. Um, so when you go on tap, uh, as you know, why well, if you've played on tap before, uh, what well, we've gone on tap, you've got different sections. You've got the section where you got games. You've got the section where you build your decks and stuff. Uh, before you can actually play with a cube, you want to go and build like build a cube on it. So, what you do is go into your games, and then when you go to uh, make a new deck, uh, it come up with an option like this to create a deck. Uh, depending on your pick, I think you can still pick cube or deck, and even if whichever one you build, it come up with this uh, this menu. And what you want to do is put your deck uh, deck tile. I put my first cube because this is an example, and. Um, uh, then you can give it gives you a selection of all the different games you can uh, uh, make a cube or a deck for on Untap. Like as you can see, there's quite a lot, uh, and as you see, the one highlighted on there because uh, it's my uh, only card game I'm playing at the moment is Dragon Ball Super. And then it gives you an option at the bottom to either create a deck or create a cube. So if you're creating a cube, you select the create a cube, and what will happen is it will come up with this. Uh, so similar as when you buy a deck, uh, build a deck, it come up, but instead of having uh, leader, leader, uh, starting field, leader card area, starting field deck, blah, 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 it just comes up with group one, two, one, two, three, four, and five, and then base six. Uh, so when you come to this, um, one thing you want to do is you don't want to put any cards in the basics unless you're arranging for, uh, unless you're, like, the only example I could think of you want to put anything in basics is, say, you don't want to put any leaders in the cube, and you want to have them, uh, like say you're using some of the draft box uh, four, five, and six leaders, the ones that are, uh, are all colors, blah, 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 and uh, are like ones that uh, everybody can have. Um, unless you, unless you want, um, unless you want uh, not have any, include any leaders in your cube and have them to for people to grab afterwards and having those ones or just want leaders picked afterwards so everybody can pick uh one of selection leaders. But what happens with the bit if you put anything basic is that once you finish uh, drafting uh, and it allows you to build your uh, construct your deck, it have where the packs were, uh, whatever card you put in basics. Uh, I know this. I only know this because uh, when I did my first uh, one of my cubes and drafted it, I put one of the colors all in basic, and then there was n there was none of that color in the draft, so there was no one able to draft any red cards. And at the end of it, all the red cards showed up for everybody to pick uh, afterwards. So that was a big mistake for uh, to, for when I was doing uh, one of my first cubes for locals. Um, that was a fun alternate format because uh, not many people showed up because of the pandemic and stuff, and people not like an untap. Um, so what I would recommend is putting the cards unless you want to put, as I gave an example then. Uh, putting your leaders to draft after the pick afterwards after drafting for people to choose rather than put it in the cube you can put it there otherwise you want to put all the cards that you're going to put in your cube or draft in your cube in the the group uh, selections uh, for example what I've done with mine I put um, all the red cards in group 5 
blue cards in group four because as you go, as you put the cards in it, it expands down and this was able to keep putting it and keep counting, make sure I check to make sure I did the right uh, the right cards in the right amount. And I put group three was the green cards, group two was the yellow cards, and in group one I put both the black cards and multicolored cards. This is this is just that's the only reason I did that. You can put it all in one group if you want. The only reason I did that is because to make sure. Um, to keep track and make sure I put in the right cards because after having to go all the way through it afterwards was a uh, was a bit tedious to try and um, check anything. I did get some things wrong when I uh, was a bit distracted, but um, the re uh, that's that's how I would do it. And it, that's just an example um, if you want to do that. Uh, but once you've done that, you just save your cube and it's ready to draft. Um, so when you do want to go ahead and play the cube, uh, like you would normally play a game, you go on to Create a game and they bring it with this, uh, this little menu. So it's a new game, game title. So you can just put a game title. So I put cube draft for ex uh, cube draft for example because this is the example. Um, for my cube that I do on a Sunday, which um, if you um, uh, plug it in the middle of uh, the video, if you want to join in, it's this week it's sun uh, Saturday, but otherwise it's normally Sunday. I uh, I put the game game title was scrub game scrub league uh, draft and whatever draft it is. So the next one will be draft five. Uh, you select, change the game type as it is from there, from game to cube, because you're going to be drafting a cube, and then you put the players. You can put a limit. You can have a, if you want to test on your own, you can put solo, so that way the rest, all the other players will be bots. If you put bots in, uh, other ways you can set a limit to how many people join. So if you want to, if you say you've got four, three other people joining you for a cube, you put four, and this stops. Uh, might make this make sure um, that only four people come that join the cube. And if you want to stop random people from joining the cube when that you've set up for people. You can put friends only, but just make sure that uh, anybody who uh, you want to join the cube is on your friends list by adding them on the friends list on Untap. Because uh, otherwise, if you put friends only and don't add, add them, uh, they won't be able to access it. And then what you want to do is uh, where it says cube deck under solo players, you want to click on that and pick the pick uh, your cube, which is if you've only got one cube, that would be the only one you could pick. Pack size you can set. I think you can set up the pack size up to 25. Uh, I, and there I've set, I normally set between 12, 12 and 14, uh, depending on what size cube. Uh, I always use my normal list or expanded list for it. Uh, packs, you can set up to six for each player. And then with the per, with the bit under, which has per, packs per player, I've got five books you can't put higher. But normally, it, uh, depending on it, whatever you put in packs is what each player will have to draft with. And then pick time. Uh, so this is... Uh, so this is the two things that actually come with a, an option, which is the pick time, which you can put between 45 seconds uh, and a minute are the base ones. So with the first pack, uh, so if you just don't if you don't edit that at all, the first pack you always get 45 uh, a minute on, and then after that every pack is 45 seconds. Uh, but then you can change the pack if you want more time, because sometimes a minute or 45 seconds isn't a uh, lot of time when you've got like a really difficult choice when there's a lot of good cards that you want or a lot of good cards in the pack or that you want or it's like your first pack and stuff um, but even if you do set the time after that to two to five minutes um, then always on the first pack it always be a minute and after that it'd be whatever you put it to so I've put it with five minutes because although you don't need four or five minutes it gives everybody a decent amount of time to pick like no one will wait the whole five minutes per pack so that take forever and normally uh, like mm -mm, just over two minutes is probably uh, if you've got different difficult choices a good slot that's what I normally go for and then for the other one as I said as I mentioned at the beginning uh, you've got a uh, you've got a way you can select how many bots are in there so if you have if you do you can either put no bots if you don't want any bots you've got less than eight uh, if you've got less than eight and you don't select no bots it put bots in um, and then if you do want to have a full weight so you can get the full maximum like your whole cube drafted because if you have less than eight people uh you're not gonna see all the cards in the pack uh all the cards in the set because you're not gonna have all the packs depending on if you've set the uh unless you've uh created your cube to be for less than eight people so if you have um so if there's no bots and have less people than the your cube's designed to be you won't see all the cards in the um while drafting uh but if you do put to eight you can either have smart pack Bots or dumb bots actually. So it wasn't just default bots. It was a uh, smart dumb bots. I normally smith part smart because I want them to be as close to the average player as possible to uh, when drafting. And then, as I said, um, you can use friends only if you want to stop random people going to uh, uh, joining the cube. 
but then once you do, once you uh, once you've done that and you hit start game, it do the normal fi uh, normal thing, starting up a game. You wait for people to join the game. Once everybody's joined the game, you go into it and it'll bring up this menu. So it come up with uh, all the people at the top. So as you can see, I've got Wafflebot, Rosiebot, Benderbot, Fembot, R2D2Bot, Butterbot, Butter Bot, and How Nine Thousand Bot. Uh, and it won't have all eight players because you're the other player, you're the eighth player, so it'd be you are seeing the screen, but it's how uh, how it is. So once everybody's ready, everybody clicks ready, and you click ready, and then after you've clicked ready, um, and everybody else click ready, it is, uh, say ready to start, and then once you click start, it come up with this. So it show you the first pack. So on the first one, as you can see, it show you the all the contents of the cards, and all you want, all you need to do. Is at the bottom you've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six deck columns and a cyber column. So with this, uh, if you put the maximum you can put in a uh, column without having it go off the page is 17. Um, so as long anything that's included in the deck columns at the end will be included in your deck, and anything in the sideboard will not be in your deck and be in the sideboard. Um, so you can put all in columns, um, depend, it's up to you. How I like to do it is, um, as I'm going, uh, what I'll do is on the first column on the far left, I will put my leader card and uh, in that in that column, because um, to make it easy to organize, I'll put in the, um, yeah, in the first column, I'll put my leader, so my first leader pool, and if I change my leader, I'll change, put the, uh, I'll keep the other leaders in the sideboard, depending if I want to change afterwards, but I'll put the leader that I'm gonna be, using after the draft in the first column. Any super combos I grab, I'll be putting them in that column as well, and any other things like unisons or uh, cards that like uh, combo the play cards, like we used, we had in um, set two and things like that, um, would go in that column as well. And then what I normally set up for the columns to make sure I can organize it by, uh, to know what, I'm gonna, what colors I'm gonna draft and stuff like that, I normally separate the second, third, fourth, and fifth uh, columns into blue, uh, no, sorry, red, blue, green, yellow are the colors, so I, so I can uh, organize them uh, easy enough. Then once I figure out what colors I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna use, I make sure the second and third column are blank uh, or empty, and then the third and fourth, uh, no, sorry, and the fourth and fifth columns are for the for the two different colors I'm gonna be drafting. Because I always normally, I never try to go for a monocolor there because. Um, there's no there's no good chance that you're gonna get all of them one color that one color, so I I like to make it easier on myself and go for two colors, and because there are dual color cards in the cube as well, uh, for mine at least, I it's easy enough to play dual, a dual color deck, and so I normally put the uh, so I normally have the first one with my leader and uh, super combos and stuff, leave the second and third one uh, empty and use the third oh uh, I leave the second and third one for overfill uh, uh overspill of any. Uh, cards I'm, I'm dra of the colors I'm dra drafting to keep in the uh, my the organism, and in the fourth and fifth one I have my two colors. So if, say if I was playing a green and blue, I'd have green in one and blue in the other. And in the sixth and the last deck one, that is where I'll put any black cards and dual color cards in there to keep it separate, so it's easier to organize. So that way, it for me it keeps it easier to see what I'm trying to put in my deck, what I've already got, blah blah blah, uh, for building the deck. And anything in the sideboard is I put is any cards that aren't the colours in drafting or or uh, any cards that I'm not going to be putting in the cubes or any extra leaders that I don't want, any cards that I can't play because I haven't got the right leader, blah, blah, I put in the sideboard so that was out of the way. And depending on how it goes further on in, I can switch them out uh, as I go. Uh, but then, uh, so once you decide what card you want to pick, you'll select it, add it to one of the uh, things, but make sure to carefully read the cards as you um, uh, before you pick, because once you put a card from the pack uh, from the where they're shown to your deck slot, it that's it. You can uh, go back. So you've got plenty of time as long as you set the time correctly uh, to give you to give yourself enough time. You need to want to read over all the cards. It come up with a big um, example on the uh, far right, um, to, so you can read it properly as well. Um, so just make sure to read the card before you pick it. And make sure you definitely want that card before putting it in. Because once you've put it in, that's it. You can't go back. And if the time runs down to zero, which hopefully if you set to five minutes, it won't happen. 
uh, it pick randomly for you. But when you put the first card, it'd be like this for an example. So I picked the trunks over on because as, as I didn't have a leader, I had free range to pick whatever I want. And as there wasn't really much that I wanted to uh, dedicate to a certain color and that, and that being a very strong overarm card for any for any deck, I chose to grab that one as a first generic card to grab because I couldn't see any cantrips. Uh, so I grabbed the most generic card I could from the first pack. And then once you put that, it passed on to the next card. For, it passed on to the next pack. So as you can see, there's one less card in it because there, that someone, whoever had this pack before has picked the card from it and now you've got the remains. And then you keep going on for this. Uh, and t so what you keep doing that, you keep picking the cards and doing that until you get to the end of a pack. Uh, unfortunately, I picked the last card, so I could show it with the last card in. But as you can see, above the pack, it says now pack two, pick 13. So the first pack was 12, well, contains 12 cards, and I picked them all and I was onto the second pack. So this is how you can keep track of um, how many, what pack you're on uh, while drafting. So as you can see, I've um, from the first pack, I ended up getting Harudagan as my first leader. And I started drafting. Uh, I chose to delve into uh, green and yellow from what I saw and picked up two black cards in the trunks and the tower. So, as you can see, I've got um, the one drop Krillin assault, assault for some awakening, the freezer for uh, be able to uh, tap down some two drops through barrier, Fasher for uh, like a potential 10k combo, uh, a 10, free 10k combo when um, attacking or defending with yellow cards, a cantrip in the Goku. Uh, some removal in Yamcha, and in green I've got the Unison uh, for uh, the Bio Brody Unison for some uh, deck fitting. Um, uh, M2 for a nice fill card that I really like that helps you get rid of cantrips while also drawing you a card and giving you a free token, a 10k token. And the Android 19, which is one of the probably one of the best, uh, which is the green version, one of the best cards to grab in the cube, which is the. Um, like by Broly, the deck filter, when you just discard a card, the draw brand new cards, it allows you to set, go through your deck uh, quite quicker. Oh, anytime I see uh, one of those for whatever colors I'm drafting, I grab them because they're great for deck filtering through. Um, which is probably why I've had more success in my um, top of that moment because I always hunt them no matter what it is, unless I really need a super combo or really need a certain other card. I always grab that as a priority because they're such a good card for the cube, for, uh, for, dra uh, for cube draft. Um, but that's what happens. So once you get all the packs, you keep uh, you keep that, and you start a brand new pack, and do your picks. And then once you've picked everything, it look like this. So as you can see, uh, I picked, drafted all drafted all the packs, and now it's giving me time uh, time to build my deck. And as you can see, uh, from the first uh, column, I got my leader, uh, I got super combos, I got my unisons, and then in a deck free, it's the over spill from the other two. Uh, packs. Well, while I didn't fit up to 17, I put them over there because uh, I don't know why I just put them over there because I start, they started filling up from what I could see on my screen. And then in that, uh, in the fourth column, I got all the yellow cards I was picking. In the, the third column, I got all the green cards I was uh, I picked. And then in the last deck column, I got all the black cards and the dual color cards I, uh, I grabbed. And also. As you can see, probably at the second from last at the bottom, I've got the free drop shield card from draft box six, which is a uh, is there because it's not one of the two, two cards I'm drafting, and it's a potential card I can play because it's a skillless card that I can free play. Well, I've got free energy because I've got some skillless in my uh, list. And then on the sideboard, I've got all the cards that either I'm not playing, excess leaders, or cards I can't play. Uh, so as you can see on the timer it's giving me 149 uh, minutes to draft it, that's because I set the 5 second, uh, five minutes per pick, so I think for each time you pick it gives you a, uh, a certain amount of 5 minutes on top of that to build a deck, but you only need that time, normally when I've done it before with the uh, default of being like a 45 seconds to a minute per pack, it gives, it's giving me half an hour to build a deck, but if you follow how I uh, organise it, it makes it easier for you to build a deck, because you can as if you're going if you're going for a 50 card minimum as long as the first if you put the first three columns with 17 uh fill it with that's a 17 each that's a 51 card deck including leader uh, and then you can put all the rest in your sideboard uh because any as i said anything in the deck columns will go into your deck so watch out for that uh one thing i would advise is as well is um when you do uh build your deck and do it Make sure to go back into your decks after after drafting, and go into your deck, 
to amend it. Uh, one good thing about the cube draft is that uh, we'll build a deck for it, uh, by drafting on untap. Is when you go into the when you go into the deck to edit it, you can't add any new cards. In it. it doesn't let you add any brand new cards in it, so there's no way to cheat or anything like that. Um, but you want to make sure you take your uh, keep your leader in your deck as well. So if you start a game, you have to go into your deck, find your leader, and bring it out. So what you want to do is go back in after you've drafted, done the draft, and put your deck. Grab the leader, move it to the leader leader area, and then save it afterwards. Uh, so the leader starts out uh, in play at the beginning. Otherwise, you're gonna start every game, searching for your deck for your leader, then shuffling and starting. Um, but yep, that's what it looks like at the end. Um, as you see, I've gone for a Harudagan, um green, uh, yellow green deck. Uh, I've picked up mostly all the Harudagan chain apart from the nine drop because uh, I was I wasn't going for a blue green. Um, I didn't realize, didn't know I was going properly for the. I was going to get all the Hirud um, pieces until I uh, went past it because it was in. The I think it was in the second pack. I saw it. And I didn't grab it because I didn't have the. I didn't have a four drop for Rudigan. I wasn't banking on having it. We're going for that kind of combination. Like the only reason I got the, uh, the tape on is because my leader is a Rudigan and it triggers by green as well. So I can still play it as a uh, one cost. Uh, so I can still play it as a blocker for one energy while drawing a card, which is good. And as you can see as well, I got the uh, Herudagon. Uh, I got four Unisons, um, four Super Combos as well. I got uh, two that uh, by life, one by Net Blitz for a dual color one that doesn't draw, but then still uh, is a good Super Combo to have. And then the Kai, which as long as I combo it first on attacking, I can always get the draw, or even protect myself easy enough and still get a draw. Uh, yeah, I got I got some Awakening. I've got one of I got the got some self awakening in there, I've got things that work well with my unisons, I've got the uh, Basil and Chapel that I can play after Pagama unison, I've got the hero chain, uh, a lot of hero, hero support, uh, I've got the uh, Android 19 and the Fledging Talent Pan as well, I think you can see in there, that I can, uh, so I can, when I've got them, I can start ditching cards from my hand and draw brand new cards to fill from my deck quickly to see what I want. I've got enough dual color cards as well to either charge or play. So strong ones like Oolong, I've got targets for Oolong, the arrival for Android, the um, uh, Topo for a successor, and the Hellas that I can either play or charge. That ignoring um, dual color as well. Um, so yeah, I drafted quite a few things. A nice, one nice combination I didn't see was um, I got the Bulma Cantrip from set three. And the Sin Shenron uh, promo from the uh, Tournament Pack 10 uh, uh, Sin Shenron. And it, I still, I've seen that it can grab back that Bulma, which I thought was a nice combination. So I grabbed that instead of something else in one of the packs. Uh, and yeah, I got the four Unisons. I got the, I got the uh, four one drop ones. So I got the Prong of the Draw. The Brigama just to have a big one if I didn't see my green ones. And then I got the Harudagon for extra chaos. I got my uh, Harudagon Chinks. I've got it. And also have some combo disruption and then Broly as a uh, a way to deck fin while having a unison uh, still on the board as well. So as, you, so as you see, quite a decent deck I built up. I didn't bother showing the deck because otherwise it'd be a long list of just names uh, rather than construct the first because it'd just be an example. Uh, but then that's what you do. After that, you then arrange to play it how you want, uh, play against people, play against the other people, like make a tournament, say on ch uh, challenge and stuff like that. Uh, but that's basically how the uh, draft on untap uh, and also I've explained hopefully it made sense of how the uh, draft in person uh, but one thing you want to uh, work out one thing I did want to add to this as well is the last bit is uh, Q, uh, Q calculations so uh, for example what I've got for mine I've got 6 packs per player and 12 cards per pack uh, and this gives a card to uh, a cube card uh, a total Card, uh, card total in my cube for eight players at uh, being 576. That's for you. So if you want to stick with that uh, ratio of six packs per player and 12 cards in each pack, you're going to want to ha have a total in your cube of 576 cards. So there's a lot of cards. Building that in real life is uh, it can be a little bit costly with some cards. Like uh, there's the uh, Goku Draw is quite expensive. Uh, so getting a copy of that for the cube is uh, puts quite a chunk already. And some cards are quite costly, but luckily I I just I uh, took some out of my collection, and I've made it for like if you want to make it as easy if you want to make it as easy as I do, what I do is if I get up, if there's anything I need for the cube that I also have a playset for my decks, 
I just stick to four because I have one in the cube, and then if I'm not, uh, if I'm well, I have it in the cube. And if I ever need it, need it for a tournament, and the cube's not being used, I take it out. They use it, so that can make it easier if, uh, for you if you don't want to get a fifth of, like, say, you need to place it for a deck and you need one for the cube. Rather than get a fifth, uh, five copies, you can just get four and just split the fourth copy between the cube if it's not being used into your deck. But if you want to go for a total, of, if you want to make the card uh, for a total of six players, and still follow those. Um, Conditions of having six packs per player and twelve in a beach pack. You want to have a cube of four hundred and thirty-two, and then also, and then if you want to do it for just four players, you've got like a small uh, bunch of friends or locals that enjoy a cube when you're cube with. Um, for four players, you want to have two hundred and eighty-eight. Uh, and also, as I said, if you uh, if you want to check out my last video as well uh, about how to build a cube to help uh, regarding like how to balance a cube and things like that, if you want to help. Uh, I should, probably should have put this in the last uh, one, but I didn't think of it until now. And I just hope that anybody is watching these videos, uh, which is the whole series, rather than just uh, individual videos, as they could all. Be, I feel they could all be helpful. Um, but yeah, after that, after uh, what following any any of those, if no matter what um, card top you have is on one of those. For if you uh, yeah, so whatever card top you've got for your cube, for your, depending on the number of players, as shown there. If you have it set to how I have for my uh, standard list of six packs per player and 12 cards per pack, you should have a card pool after drafting for each uh, player at 72. So each player should have 72 cards to build a deck with. Now, why that's quite a large that's quite a large pool. Uh, you sh uh, that's how much we have uh, when I do cube drafting. Well, for my standard list, I remember we've been using expanded just because I want to try out uh, more cards and just have more interest for it. Um, but 72 cards is good enough to still build a 50 card deck but if you feel that uh, you, uh, it might be harder to build a 50 card deck with 72 cards uh, 72 card pool you can always go down to 40 as I said it's up to you how, how you build the cube or how you want to draft it it's up to the person who uh, builds and owns the cube uh, but I, I like to have 50 so it's because uh, there's less randomization and luck based in, on the cube but if you feel like you want to have uh, an easy way to build a deck and stuff, you can always set the 40. Uh, but that's everything for this video of how the draft. Um, once again, like I keep saying, this month I'm going to continue. Uh, I'm going to focus on doing a, uh, this cube draft um, series because I want to just put because uh, it's a format I'm passionate about, and I don't see many uh, channels for Dragon Ball going over this. And I thought at least. Uh, where I'm, where I really enjoy this, and I know there are other people that enjoy this as well, because like with the group I've created, uh, regarding this, I want to make sure there's more for anybody else who is interested in this that they've got as much in information as I have when making it, um, and could potentially spread, uh, uh, try and get more people into the format because it's a really fun format. Uh, as anybody who's participated in my uh, tournaments on Sundays will uh, attest to. Um, and hopefully, like uh, like with it, like any video I try to put out, anybody who does watches it uh, learns from it and is actually helpful. Uh, but this is me, me. Um, going over the next video, uh, the, the third video of how to draft. Um, next video is probably be like about lead. I'll uh, go over leader cards, card combination, card combina uh, combos that I have from my cube that I found quite interesting and things like that. Um, but yeah, for the videos going on, it will be over. Uh, more cube drafting. Also, I, what I'm going to do as well is uh, I will sh I will shortly be uh, at some point be doing a um, giveaway as I hit uh, as a good ach uh, achievement for myself, 50 subscribers. So I want to do to celebrate that. I want to do a giveaway, a, uh, t which would be for anybody subscribed to the base for the people that have supported me and subscribed to my channel that like uh, first because they like my channel and like my videos. Um, give a little giveaway to uh, to say thank you. Um, I'll put a video. I'll put a probably video out extra as well, on like a, one of the days I don't do you my usual videos, and also a post on my Facebook. Um, but as I just keep saying in every video, like most YouTubers do, is uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel and uh, have come across this and it, uh, are interested, uh, give it a, give my channel subscribe. It helps me out. Uh, keeps you updated with my videos, uh, so you can see more videos like this, or even my or if you like my thoughts. On decks and things, it keeps you updated on that. Also, like the chat. I like the video if you enjoyed it, thought it was helpful, thought the information was good, and uh, 
lets me know once I can. Uh, so I basically I have some sort of feedback from that, so I can keep doing it. And um, I know what the ch and if you there's anything that I haven't covered, or you want me to change, or there's anything I uh, need to add, uh, didn't go over enough, or you have any questions, just drop it in the co uh, comments. It helps, gives me is another way to give me feedback, so I can improve or uh, cover anything that uh, I've missed or that you have questions of. Uh, apart from that, that's it. Um, thank you for watching. All this time, I did it did go over a lot more than I wanted to, because I, I tend to be a bit too descriptive. But I find that sometimes is helpful. Um, but thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, carrying on with more cube-related uh, stuff. Thank you, and bye.